<laughs> Hello, everybody, today. <laughs> Tom likes how I turn on the camera. <laughs> so, we are on to lesson 63. The light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. So I love how all of these thoughts just build and build on top of one another so that we truly do have a solid foundation for peace of mind. And so today we are being reminded that since we are the light of the world, this light of the world when accepted brings peace to every single mind through our forgiveness. And so we are being reminded that we have the same part here as Jesus did as the light of the world and as being the light of the world, forgiveness is our function. So, to continue forward with what Jesus is sharing with us today, he's saying, How holy are you who have the power to bring peace to every mind? How blessed are you who can learn to recognize the means for letting this be done through you? What purpose could you have that would bring you greater happiness? And as, as I pause here for a second, this is kind of funny because we were having, I haven't read this lesson yet before I've extended it to you. Um, and, you know, today we were kind of talking that if we're not doing work for God, like if we're not doing our projects, which is makeshift, um, by the way, you can check out makeshift.com, makeshift with a Y. <laughs> um, if we're not doing these projects, then we're almost bored that there's nothing to do, that our happiness truly is in our function and creating with God. And when we're not creating with God or healing our minds through forgiveness, it's like boring. And so we got to recognize this today. And um, we were just kind of laughing about it and talking about it, that if we're not doing work, it's like, what are we doing? We're just chilling, you know, back to that thought that the Course brings earlier, I need to do nothing, right? So it's such a, a beautiful thing. But then, then to continue, it says, you are indeed the light of the world with such a function. The Son of God looks to you for his redemption. It is yours to give him, for it belongs to you. Accept no trivial purpose or meaningless desire in its place, or you will forget your function and leave the Son of God in hell. This is no idle request that is being asked of you. You are asked to accept salvation, that it may be yours to give. So Jesus is saying that as the light of the world, it is our function to redeem God's Son. It is our function to give healing. And in the giving of the healing, we receive it. But we can't give something we haven't yet received for ourselves. So Jesus is calling all of us to the remembrance that we are here to accept salvation for ourselves we are here to accept atonement for ourselves we are here to heal our minds through forgiveness and extend this forgiven perception throughout the world so jesus is reminding us that this is not an idle function this is quite a powerful one and once we accept it for ourselves we are the demonstration on behalf of all the world that they can do it right along with us it's so so amazing to continue, it's saying, recognizing the importance of this function, accepting salvation for yourself and giving it away, and recognizing the importance of this function, we will be happy to remember it very often today. We will begin the day by acknowledging it and close the day with the thought of it in our awareness. And throughout the day, we will repeat this as often as we can. The light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. I am the means God has appointed for the salvation of the world. I'm going to read that once again just because I love the affirmation so much. The light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. I am the means God has appointed for the salvation of the world. You will probably find it easier to let the related thoughts come to you in the minute or two which you should devote to considering this if you can close your eyes. Do not, however, wait for such an opportunity. 
no chance should be lost for reinforcing today's idea. So meaning, don't wait for the specific time that you're going to sit in your mind for two minutes to apply the thought. Apply the thought continually throughout the day no matter what. He's saying that it you don't want to lose the chance to apply this thought throughout your day continually as often as you can, waiting for that time that you can be alone and go in your mind. If you can be alone and go in your mind, great, do so. If not, we can just bring the thought through with, uh, with us throughout the day and continually remind ourselves from morning through the day into the night. So the last final thought here. Remember that God's son looks to you for his salvation. And who but yourself must be his son. So straight up, God's son, all of the people of the world are looking to us for forgiveness. Thus, we must accept this forgiven perception for ourselves, recognize that we are the Son of God Himself, and give this blessing, give this forgiveness throughout the world, and thus peace will be brought to every mind. So the thought again, the light of the world brings peace to every mind through my forgiveness. And so it is, beautiful souls. Have a blessed day. Bye.